luxury icon Alan Jackson's taste in real estate is nothing short of extravagant as we can see from photos of his hilltop mansion located just outside Nashville. Set in the upscale suburb of Franklin, Tennessee, the Country Music Hall of Famer's former residence boasts five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and an expansive square footage clocking in at over 22,000. The mansion is grand as they come, with each bedroom a fully appointed suite while the formal dining and living areas showcase arched doorways, oversized windows, and intricate woodwork. The sewn structure also houses a bar, media room, multiple fireplaces, both indoor and outdoor, and and much more. Today we'll be talking about the one and only Alan Jackson. This Georgia boy has been making country music magic for over 30 years now. Alan got his start back in the 80s after his wife Denise's, his high school sweetheart by the way, ran into Glenn Campbell in an airport while she was working as a flight attendant. She passed Alan's demo tape along and the rest is history. Campbell got Alan a publishing deal in Nashville and he was off to the races. His first album, Here in the Real World, came out in 1989 and it had some real hit tracks on it like the title track, Blue Blooded Woman. But it was his sophomore record, Don't Rock the Jukebox in 1991 that really launched him into stardom. Throughout the 90s, Alan was cranking out hit after hit and selling out arenas across the country. He was bringing an authentic, twangy, traditional country sound to the masses. Alan had found the perfect blend of catchy melodies and storytelling lyrics. Of course, we can't talk about Alan's legendary career without mentioning his response to 9-11. Where were you when the world stopped turning? That song resonated so deeply with the entire nation. It gave words to all the feelings and perspectives people were experiencing after that tragic day, and it earned him a Grammy to boot. Alan is also just as famous for his love songs like Remember When and Living on Love, which brings me to his love life. Alan met Denise when they were just teens in Georgia. It was basically love at first sight for those two. They got married while they were still in high school at age 19. They've been together through it all, the ups, the downs, the fame and fortune. It hasn't always been easy, but their commitment to each other is inspiring. When Denise was diagnosed with cancer in 2010, Alan put touring on hold just to be by her side. After over 40 years of marriage, they're still going strong. Alan says the key is taking time to have dinner together, talk and just be a couple when he's not on the road. Let's dive a little deeper into their love story. Alan and Denise met when they were just 15 in their little hometown of Noonan, Georgia. They caught each other's eye at a school dance and that was it. While they got married when they were still teenagers, getting married so young was still a risk, but their love and commitment to each other gave them the strength to grow together. In the early days, money was tight and Alan was trying to break into the music biz. Denise worked as a flight attendant to help make ends meet and that chance meeting with Glenn Campbell was actually the big break that launched Alan's career. Once the hits started coming and Alan was touring the country, it put a strain on their marriage. Being apart so much wasn't the end. Unfortunately, Alan was unfaithful during this period. When Denise found out, she was heartbroken, but her faith led her to forgive Alan. She realized they both needed to change if their marriage was going to survive. They separated for a while to work on themselves as individuals. Denise focused on her spirituality while Alan faced his mistakes. For months apart, they reconciled and emerged with a renewed commitment to each other. Alan and Denise's lifelong love proves that true love can stand the test of time. It's not always pretty, but if you stick together, you can make it through anything. Now, let's check out some of the stunning places that they've called home. Alan Jackson's lakefront vacation home on Lake Burton in Clarksville, Georgia is peak Southern charm. This two-story cedar lake house has five bedrooms and a massive rooftop deck with an outdoor kitchen and family room overlooking the lake. Its best features are the scenic views with floor to ceiling windows in every room. Outside, there's a boathouse with a swim dock, plus a lovely stone patio with a fire pit. The property sold for $6 million after being on the market for just a few months. With its blend of rustic charm and lavish details, this lakefront retreat was designed for relaxing and entertaining in luxury with stunning scenery as the backdrop. No wonder it was snapped up so quickly. For the exterior highlights, the property has a traditional cedar lake exterior with a stone facade and is located in an exclusive gated community on Lake Burton. It comes with scenic views of the lake and mountains and has over 1.2 acres of lush landscaping. The 
stone driveway leading to the home comes with a waterfall pond at the front porch entrance. The property contains a two-story boathouse with rooftop deck and outdoor kitchen together with a swim dock perfect for lake activities. There's a patio with stone fire pit and fan screen porch with fireplace and full outdoor bathroom. The lake house contains five beds and 6.5 bathrooms designed with a cozy rustic and farmhouse inspired decor. There are four stone fireplaces in total and reclaimed oak hardwood floors. It also has vaulted ceilings and exposed wood beams with floor to ceiling windows in every room. It's designed for an open floor plan with large great room and comes with a gourmet kitchen with two islands, formal dining room with lake views and much more. There's a spacious primary suite with study, fireplace and private porch. All suites here have spa-like bathrooms and the home office comes with built-in shelves as well as a finished terrace level with rec room. But that's not Alan and Denise's only home. Set on 150 acres of woodlands, Alan also owned a massive French country style mansion in Franklin which was fit for music royalty. With over 20,000 square feet of living space, this this home has seven beds, 13 baths, a home theater, and a 15 car garage. This place was ideal for entertaining with a pool, pool house, and covered patio with stone arches and fireplaces. Inside, the grand foyer led to formal living and dining rooms. It had ornate woodwork and custom details throughout. This stunner sold for $28 million after two years on the market. This magnificent mansion combined luxury details and amenities with old world southern charm. It was truly a one of a kind estate bidding for country music royalty. This sprawling home sat on 150 secluded acres of land with intricate ironwork and stonework throughout the outside. A large motor court driveway at the front also impresses with formal gardens and winding paths. There's also a resort style pool and pool house with changing rooms out back. There's also a detached 15 car air conditioned garage. Inside the mansion, there's about 22,000 square feet of living space with seven beds and 13 baths total. There's a grand two level foyer with an iron staircase with formal living and dining rooms for entertaining beside this. The gourmet eating kitchen has double ovens and there's also a spacious great room. This area of the home has soaring ceilings, a wood paneled library with cozy fireplace nearby, and there's also a home theater with seats for 10 people. If that's not enough, you'll also find a wet bar and wine cellar. The elevator here has access to all three levels. Alan and Denise's former primary suite was pure luxury too, complete with sitting area and balcony, while ensuite bathrooms boast marble details all over. Alan Jackson's contributions to country music over the last 30 plus years are undeniable. He's crafted an impressive catalog of hit songs that have become country classics. Through all his success, he stayed true to his roots and devotion to his high school sweetheart Denise. Their lifelong love stories inspired many even when they faced challenges. And when Alan's off the road, he enjoys spending time with Denise relaxing in their stunning homes from his Tennessee mansion to his lakefront retreat. His homes from coast to coast reflect his signature style of traditional charm blended with luxury. As he slows down his touring to manage his health, Alan Jackson has certainly earned the right to kick back and enjoy the fruits of his labor. This country legend has given fans over three decades of music to move them to tears, make them smile, and take them back to a simpler time. Before we wrap things up, answer this question for me. Would you want to have a home spanning over 22,000 square feet or is that simply too massive? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all another time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.